and welcome to this week's video. I'm Gabrielle. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, I'm currently a 1L student at Cornell Law. And this week is actually kind of stressful for me today. I have a midterm in about an hour and a half, which is crazy. It is for my contracts class. It's worth 12% of my grade and I am like, I am nervous, but I think I'm gonna do well. Like I feel confident in my ability. I spent all weekend studying. I didn't cram. I really like spaced out my studying in advance. So I feel really good about it. Um, so yeah, I will update you later and let you know how it goes. But this is set to be a really fun week. We have contracts today, but then I really don't have a ton of work for the rest of the week. We have a lot of fun Halloween things going on. We're like going to karaoke. I like have plans to like make an apple crumble and do some other fun things. So yeah, I am super excited and I will take you along with me. Okay, hello. I have just gotten home from school and I've changed because I'm gonna go down to the gym now. I basically just did my contracts exam today and then did work in the library. It's now like 5.30. So I kind of got out of school pretty early. All I have left to do is my tourist assignment for tomorrow. So yeah, I'm feeling in a good spot. We don't have much contracts reading due tomorrow, which is ideal um, because that is stressful. But basically I had my midterm today. I thought I did well, but the thing about his exams is that everyone says he's really fair which is true. However, his fairness is that his questions appear easy. You think you have the right answer. And then he was looking for something completely different and you're held to his standard. But everyone is judged to that very challenging standard and in the same kind of harsh way. Like, even if you think that you said something, he may disagree with you and not give you that point entirely. Like he doesn't do half points and stuff. But you know what? He'll hold everyone to that standard. So we'll see. I think that the median is around like slightly over half correct. So we'll see how it goes. We, I'm not sure when we get our grades back, but we'll see. So yeah, we're gonna go head down to the gym and then do some more work. Okay, so we got the results of our contracts exam and also our practice exams today. Do you have any comments, Marcella? Um, it was very helpful. Some nice constructive criticism, right? Yeah. So Emphasis the, on the criticism, <laughs> but helpful. So the thing about contracts is that we got the, um, what is it, the temp, like the answers, but we don't know our score. So we're all just looking at our own scores and being like, I think I got this, but we don't actually know what he's gonna say. And also he's kind of um, a tough grader. So we'll see. But now we're going to celebrate and it's Wednesday and we're gonna make an apple crumble. So let's see how that goes. Marcel and I were debating whether or not we should do this. I think the answer is no. Yeah. Okay, we put the apple crumble in the oven. It actually looks so good. I am so excited. It's also like this pan is deep. Um, like it takes up, I would say a good chunk of the oven. So it's gonna be pretty large for two people. <laughs> <laughs> but can you describe what we've made? We made an apple crisp. We used the New York Times recipe. I think that we followed it. Yeah, it looks well. so good. It's still bubbling. It smells incredible. We're gonna eat this. We're gonna try to invite some people over though. <laughs> Smile. I think it's pretty yummy. I feel like it's really good. Dang, it's Thursday and look at how beautiful the sunrise is today. Oh, it's so nice. Gotta get ready for the day. <laughs> okay, so we went to Party City to try to find costumes um, now that class is over, but <laughs> we had to buy our friend a balloon because he's going to be the boy from Up, but we accidentally got a huge one. <laughs> said 24 inches, I was like, sure! We were like, yeah, 24 inches, that's how long we want. Um, we couldn't find animal ears because we're basic, so now we're going to go to <laughs> Claire's. Claire's will provide. I okay, we're out here. I did my makeup. It's a Thursday. I am going out. I have cat ears on. My friend is going to do my like leopard makeup. I don't know, but I'm very excited. So basically like I was speaking to my torts TA today and she was like, listen, like this is really the last weekend you can go out. And then after that, not like I go out ever anyways, last time I went out was over a month ago. Um, but then it's like time to buckle down for finals. I have my torts horn book here. I'm like ready to go when I get back like Monday. It, like it's Thursday, but like Monday is when I'm really gonna go into like finals overdrive um, because we have like a month until finals. So yeah, basically that's what's happening right now. I'm about to go out. I'm gonna meet my friend who also lives in my building and we're gonna go walk over to the pregame together. I can't believe this is my life right now. It's also a Thursday. I have two office hours tomorrow and 
Um, a professor sponsored pumpkin carving. So yeah, that'll be fun. Um, it should be an adventure. Last night I went out, last time I went to this event, which is like a karaoke bar, I had such a good time. However, I was so hungover the next day. I really am not a big drinker. Um, or as I think it's like clear from my vlogs where it's like Friday night and I'm in my home, like setting up my walls or cleaning or whatever. Um, but the next day I was like unwell. And when it's law school, like you can't miss class, so you have to go. So um, I'm gonna drink responsibly tonight, but I'm gonna have a good time. Blair's in the best sense, ladies. Okay, Marcella, what's your piece of law school advice? Um, get a good mentor. Susan, go out on a Thursday night. <laughs> Thursdays are for law students. The cat. Anyone else have any pieces of law school advice? Um, oh. Carol, best. don't go. <laughs> Quit. Talk about. I don't know. Hello, okay, it's Friday. So I've had such a busy morning. I don't know how I did this to myself, uh, but I was up really early to do some work and then I had my lawyering class before I had to go to office hours for con law, which were so, so helpful. Like go to your office hours. And then I had a pumpkin carving activity with my lawyering professor and I'll put in some clips there. It was really fun. It was my friend's birthday. We sang happy birthday and like carved some pumpkins. So yeah, that's what I did. And then I had another office hours with my civil procedure professor and she's really lovely and was like very helpful in discussing some career stuff I wanted to know more about. And I just got back the feedback on my memo. This week has been insane in terms of getting feedback back. The only thing that would like top it off is if I were to get my contracts midterm grade that I took on Monday before this afternoon. Like that would really be the cherry on top of the cake. But I think I got some good feedback on my memo. Like I think I did some things very well. Obviously there are some things that like I can improve on, but I'm happy with like the feedback I got. But the hard thing is, is I don't know where I fall in my class. Like I don't know what other feedback people got. You don't know what grade you got either. Like they've graded them and they haven't told us the grade we got. We just see the feedback. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, I think it's good, but you don't know what it is in comparison to anyone else. So yeah, that's what I've spent the last few hours doing. And I think I'm gonna go down to my friend Marcella's house again, um, just because I don't wanna be home. I don't know, I'm just like not in a homework mood. And I have this like gingerbread house that I wanna do, so I'm gonna bring that and surprise her with it and see if she wants to do it. I'll also show you my pumpkin. She has like an outdoor space in her home, so I'm gonna put the pumpkin there because I don't wanna have a rotting pumpkin inside of my home. I successfully made it to Marcella's. We are making the Trader Joe's Haunted House chocolate cookie kit, which will be delightful. And we'll see how it turns out. We just have like all the pieces and we'll set it up so that it can like solidify before we decorate. Okay, so we built the house. It is officially standing. Very proud and now we're gonna decorate it. sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it is structurally really sound. Is. Different themes. Oh my god, I wasn't even filming! <laughs> no. no! But yeah, we did the different sides. This is Marcella's side. It's a lot nicer. And then here's my side. I like it. It's fun. Okay, here is the finished product. I actually think it looks so good. I love it so much. Here is the back of our home. It looks sad. It's happy. Okay, Max just arrived and I got my new laptop. My old laptop is, um... It's a piece of shit. Okay, I'll have to bleep that out, but it's very old. It served me well, right? Some to greener pastures. Yeah. I do need to keep it plugged in at all times, so that's kind of inconvenient. But I got the 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's really big for anyone who thinks of ordering it. Doesn't fit in a backpack. Yeah, I ordered it to my grandparents' home because they were home all day and I knew that they'd be there to get it. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, what does it come with? Okay, so here's the laptop. How much do you know about the plug? I can probably a decent amount. I was a software engineer. Oh my God, it's not what I expected. That's why I asked. This color. 
Which color did you order? You ordered silver? Yeah, I ordered silver on purpose. And I just didn't expect the silver. keys to be. Well, that's the color of my work laptop, so I thought it would trigger me. Oh, you didn't like it? Oh, just because you associated it with work. <laughs> yeah, I associated it with work. But this is what it looks like. It's interesting because it's a bit blockier, actually. It is. It's not as streamlined as the last one. It's controversial. Some people hate that it's less, it feels less thin. Yeah. But other people think that it feels more pro. Yeah. I mean, it, I think it is more pro. And then what else do we have in here? The charger. Do they not give you a block? They don't. <gasps> Actually, they may on this one. We'll check. The, this one, don't don't oh, skip over this though, because this is a big deal to a lot of people. Because it's the new MagSafe one. And it's braided. Braided cables are actually really expensive and much nicer. Well, the issue is that, so let me explain. So I have like the older MacBook Pro that still has the MagSafe cable, which I really like. However- You should not get off things a lot otherwise. So I had my work laptop and my work laptop was the newer one that didn't have the MagSafe one. Um, and that meant that I knocked my work laptop off my desk all the time. Obviously it was my work laptop, so I cared about it a little bit less because like, you know, if you break it, not my problem. You know, to be honest, I don't think most people have that problem. I think that a lot of people have this issue, frankly. Um, oh, also this is like a different shape than I expected. Fascinating. It's a bit bigger. It's because it can fast charge the whole computer 50% in 30 minutes. Max knows a lot of fun facts about my new laptop. Okay, cool. And now we're gonna set it up. I'm so excited. Okay, this clip is a lot later, but it literally, I'm like watching this back while I'm editing, and it literally took like three hours to set up my laptop, which is why I forgot to end this video. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life. As a law student, I got back all of my exams, and I hope you're excited for the law school content to come this week, which mainly includes final stuff, because we are in full-blown final season right now. So let me know if there's any specific law school-related content you'd like, and see you in my next video.